Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 27th, 2021. Well, my goodness, we have a lot to cover today after setting new record highs in the Diamond Spy and QQQ. There is a tremendous amount of anticipation heading into big tech earnings reports. So how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Now, honestly, technicals in the charts today may be, um, uh, they're always important, but we also want to pay attention to the fact that we are going to just be hammered with um, economic and earnings results over the next few days. And anything is possible as um, we begin the round of big tech earnings. Let's take a look at what we've got going. We um, set new record highs yesterday and breaking through. Notice that we popped this area. We haven't made that new record high print yet. Well, we came very, very close. Let me check that out. Just go nice straight line. Yeah, we did. We we broke through and got a new record high print and close yesterday on the diamonds. Uh, breaking through to the upside, just a, a tremendous rally back. The anticipation on these earnings is unbelievable. Um, we have our PE ratios extremely extended on our big techs. And yet they, um, here we are at, at um, Record highs are very near record highs for these big techs reporting this afternoon. And we are really pricing uh, them in at perfection. So it's going to be interesting to see how the market responds today. Now, of course, Apple and Microsoft are both in the diamonds. And um, depending on how they report tomorrow, um, or later today, how they report, could definitely change the way um, the Dow looks tomorrow morning. They are the biggest weighted stocks in the Dow. So watch that closely for those reports later on today. Could be an interesting, interesting day uh, tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Also, new record highs, um, all kinds of happiness. Now, we are getting a little bit of a pullback this morning because there was uh, there's a big crackdown going on uh, from China on tech, and that is creating some issues and some disruptions um, in tech stocks, uh, particularly over in Hong Kong, that fell over a thousand points yesterday, or 4.22 percent, yet um, last night. Um, due to that the big tech crackdown. So um, that put a little bit of a, um, well, a damper on the overall excitement. But we are well off of the overnight lows that we were looking at um, here this morning um, as we push in anticipation for these earnings reports. So keep an eye on this. Notice that here in the SPY we've broken uh, back above that resistance in the chart. We're holding up here strongly, um, almost in defiance of some logic, but that doesn't matter. We're just, we're just in a buying mood and we want to press and press and press. So these big techs are going to be very, very important. And how we respond to those is anybody's guess. Watch for that closely. One thing I would suggest is we be really, really careful as we approach the, um, the afternoon here because Wednesday morning, anything could happen. If these reports are very, very strong, we could see big gap ups. If these reports disappoint, we could see the market tumble hard with a big gap down in the morning. So your guess is as good as mine, and I would be really, really careful 
um, about um, being overbought or overextending yourself in anticipation and getting sucked into all of this hype. You'll want to watch that pretty carefully. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ also setting new record highs, um, breaking through. There's just no doubt here that the bulls, no price seems to be too high for some of these stocks. So keep an eye on that as we report. Now I'm going to just go over these real quick you'll you'll see Microsoft at at um, record highs um, and that's heading into that report this afternoon we have Google um, or Alphabet at record highs and gapping up into um, into the morning here this morning we have gapped several days in a row in anticipation of these earnings. So we're really pricing this at perfection. And then we have Apple um, near record highs as we move toward that earnings report as well. So, um, well, be really careful here. Anything is possible. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now, IWM had a pretty good day yesterday rallying up and then pulled back by the end of the day. And notice we're gapping just a little bit lower here this morning on IWM. So while everything else is making new record highs, let's keep in mind the Russell is still below its 50-day moving average and struggling with a tremendous amount of resistance um, in this area. And um, that possibility that the Russell could um, push right on back down here toward that 200-day moving average. And it seems rather likely, honestly, that that would occur. However, with the bullishness of this market, it's, it's just remarkable how we can ignore um, trade deficits and we can ignore jobless claims and we can ignore the falling of housing. Um, all of these things, we just can, we're just oblivious to them. Um, um, let alone the rising COVID and things like that heading into these earnings. We're just so wrapped up in these earnings right now. Could be kind of a dangerous couple of days depending on how they report. So watch that closely. IWM could be one of, uh, it could be resuming its role as kind of the market lead. Um, for years and years and years, IWM, you could look, watch IWM and IWM would tend to lead the overall market. Um, so watch that closely. Let us take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, um, interestingly enough, as we were setting new record highs yesterday, our VIX actually increased. We um, had a little bit more fear as we set new record highs in the Diamond Spy and QQQ holding on to that little trend. We did by the end of the day just kind of drift right into that 50-day moving average as it dipped down. But we'll want to watch that closely as we um, head into all these earnings reports. Um, we are holding a higher low here in the VIX, albeit we um, have also held that downtrend as resistance. So I'm not sure, um, not sure what's going to happen here, but let's keep a close eye on that. Um, how we react to these big tech earnings could be really, really important. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 was interesting yesterday. We set new record highs, Diamond Spy and QQQ, and yet T2122 pulled back. So we had actually had more stocks pulling back or going sideways than we did going up yesterday. But we get this illusion that everything is just buy, buy, buy. That gives me a little bit of pause and makes me think that there could be some substantial danger um, in, in this mix. And it's only if these big techs happen to stumble, if they disappoint. So watch that carefully. I think that the possibility for disappointment is high just simply because we've priced the stocks at perfection heading into earnings. Let's hope they can really produce earnings strong enough 
to support those prices. But right now, T2122 is giving us um, just that idea that if we can find enough bullish energy here, we certainly have upside opportunity here in T2122. And if um, we happen to find some reason to be disappointed, we have just a little bit more um, open space to the downside if that were to occur. So watch that closely. No directional assumption here on T2122. It just says we have room to go either direction. And then if we take a look at T2101, as we were setting new market highs in the market, notice that our market breadth ticked up a little bit, but that breadth is not really all that impressive. Um, so we're still held by that resistance in this market breadth chart. Per perhaps that changes today with all these earnings um, and big tech earnings today. And notice the overall downtrend here in uh, market breadth. So it's interesting that we set new record highs and had a lot of stocks kind of drifting sideways and going down and that our market breadth just really can't pick up a whole lot here. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it puts us kind of in a position where we better be pretty focused in on price action and be ready, be prepared just in case um, uh, things don't come out as rosy as, as everyone's hoping for. Um, let's keep our fingers crossed that it does, but if it doesn't, um, there are some clues here that could suggest some ugliness ahead. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar is going to have a few things here this morning we're going to want to pay attention to. We're going to have durable goods orders this morning. Durable goods, as you know, is one of those market potential market movers that we'll want to pay attention to. It's also possible that we could get this number and just ignore it um, because everyone is so wrapped up in these earnings reports. So keep a close eye on this. It, um, that's going to come out here before the market opens. We have a Case Sheller number. Um, could move the market around a little bit, but unlikely to be very much. Um, we, we know housing, housing has started to pull back and decline pretty substantially um, from the peak, and we'll have to see what that does on that case shiller. And then, of course, we have consumer sentiment here at uh, 10 o'clock today, so watch for that. Also, you want to make note of the fact that we begin the two-day FOMC meeting today with the FOMC meeting announcement tomorrow. Um, we'll want to be uh, paying attention to that because tomorrow, good chance of a substantial gap in the market, either a gap up or gap down, depending on how um, everyone responds to these earnings reports. And then um, we're going to head right into that FOMC. So next few days, just kind of buckle up and we've got a lot of earnings. In fact, we ramp up for more earnings reports here on Wednesday, more than today, and even more than that on Thursday. So a lot of data coming our way over the next few days, including GDP and jobless claims. So a um, lot of data coming our way. Anything is possible. Make sure you're prepared and you are focused carefully to protect your capital in case the market starts getting um, a little bit wild in those price fluctuations. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that are going to report today and I can't cover all of, whoops, that's my morning blog. I can't cover all of the stocks that we'll be reporting today, so we'll cover a few, but if you could, um, click that link just below the title of the video. It'll take you back to the morning blog where I have listed notables for today and you'll want to pay attention to those. Now we've already mentioned Google, Apple, Microsoft will be after the bell. We'll also get reports from Visa after the bell, um, Starbucks after the bell. So should be pretty substantial price action here after um, that bell today. It could be pretty darn crazy. Um, we um, this morning um, heard from GE. GE had a good report this morning, spiking up. You can see popping through, trying to move through to the upside. We still have tremendous amount of price resistance in that chart for GE to break through, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. We have reports from 3M. 
Today, keep an eye on this. 3M has been moving up here the last few days in anticipation of earnings. We still have to break through some substantial resistance in that chart, but keep an eye on that 3M perking up. We're going to hear some from the gaming industry. Uh, Boyd will be reporting today. Looks like it is trying to move up this morning, trying to break that downtrend. Um, in Boyd, so watch that closely. We will hear from UPS. UPS looks like UPS disappointed here this morning, looking lower. Um, watch that closely, breaking some trends and failing at price support. Watch that pretty close. We're going to hear from Mattel. Um, we heard from Hasbro yesterday, Mattel reporting today, so keep a close eye on that one. And PHM, Pulte Homes, is another one that we'll want to be keeping an eye on um, reporting today. Uh, obviously been in a downtrend as housing has been pulling back just a little bit. Now, once again, if you want the full list, make sure if you want to catch the rest of those, click that link below the title of the video, go back to the blog, and you can get that full list of stocks that I've listed for um, uh, being notable today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you see these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And hopefully, guys, you see that these videos are a little bit different than what you might catch other places that are just full of prediction and full of hype. I try to eliminate all of that and just look at the technicals of the chart and plan my trading around that. Now that has been very successful for me. I've been able to build a full-time career of more than 15 years trading, putting a couple of kids through college and supporting my family this way. And the Morning Market Prep video is just an extension of that. I just share that now with everyone out there. And if you find these videos to be useful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. The engagement um, in the video is what makes a big difference. So leaving those comments helps a lot. And I also wanna ask you guys, if, if you feel like the video is worthy, please click and share this video out on your social media feeds, it helps us reach more people as well. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I would um, highly encourage you to never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade. Make sure you, you understand the risk of every trade, you understand the why of every trade before you pick up a position. So first off, let me talk about some of the defensive sector areas that are starting to pick up. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Coke has been holding up really, really strongly. I'm gonna put some drawings on here. Notice that we broke through um, some resistance here in the chart and we're holding that as support, looking bullish here. Coke has passed its earnings report. Uh, Pepsi has passed its earnings report and they're holding up quite well. Um, the market, I've been noticing some uh, defensive sector stocks starting to pick up. And if you remember, there was a note from JP Morgan suggesting a 10 to 20% pullback um, is probably on its way. And they were suggesting folks pick up some defensive sector stocks. So you want to take a, a look at some of these because they're starting to pick up just a little bit. Nice little pattern here where we cup and handle and we're trying to extend that um, on higher here in Coca-Cola. Now, if it weren't for earnings, um, today, MDLZ, I would be looking at MDLZ for a potential trade. So watch this after this reports. There is that possibility that this, this holds in here. We could push on through um, in Mondelez, another defensive sector stock looking pretty good overall. Take a look at Monster, um, the Monster Beverage. Monster had a big day last Friday. Um, yesterday was a little bit of a resting day, which is good because we extended so far so quickly. Now let this rest or consolidate in here 
and maybe come over here and engage that trend for that next opportunity to the upside it's looking pretty good so keep a close eye on it um, like that chart i think there may be some opportunities there you might also want to take a look at some of the stocks in utilities take a look at xlu xlu is the spider select sector etf but look at this closely notice that we've broken through some resistance we're holding it as support and we're starting to show signs of life. This is another one of those areas that can be a bit of a safety play um, um, if the market starts to pull back. So take a look at some of those utilities. And one other place would be into real estate. Um, XLRE is um, the Spider Select Sector Real Estate ETF. And you can see um, a lot of those stocks must be doing pretty darn well in here. Uh, and there are several actually reports today from um, some real estate trusts. So keep an eye on that. Um, watch this closely, that possibility that that could perk on through and break that little consolidation, keep moving up. And it's that defensive area that, um, can, well, you know, if the market does get scary, could be really um, a, a nice place to trade. So watch that close and see if we can move on through holding on to that trend. Let's take a look at a few other things that you might want to um, take a look at. I've mentioned true yesterday, TRU. TRU popped its resistance and started moving up. Now I understand there's not much in here for options trading. This is more of a stock trade probably because options aren't so good here, but watch that closely. Um, looking pretty good. You might take a look at some of the COVID related stocks like Chewy. Chewy um, had a big pop up here recently, pulled back yesterday, shot up, pulled back. But if we can hold right here hold in this little console um, little pattern hold it in this area we might be able to still catch that energy to the upside particularly if covid really starts coming back up i understand we had 85,000 infections yesterday that was after 120 or something um, on saturday or something like that so those numbers are coming up we'll want to watch that closely here on Chewy uh, picking up. You might also take a look at, um, you know, stocks like Roku. Um, Roku really picked up here recently with the COVID numbers and we're starting to push to the upside. So we do have some resistance in this chart to pay attention to, as you can see, remove those lines. We testing that resistance, but that opportunity that Roku could push on through. And keep in mind, it's going to report on um, 8.4. Um, Etsy. Etsy really started to pick up here recently as well with those COVID numbers. And keep an eye on this. We're trying to break that downtrend. We're holding support levels. We're trying to pop through up here. Notice this big move, this little resting pullback that's occurring right in here, that opportunity that that could push on higher. So there's a few stocks for you to keep an eye on. Um, last but not least, um, I'm going to mention Peloton. Now Peloton's um, dealing with, I'm going to put my drawings back on, dealing with this price resistance um, here in the chart. But notice we're holding into a very bullish pattern here, holding up in higher lows. We're just struggling against this resistance level. So watch this. If we can find that inspiration in here, we could certainly pop on through in Peloton. And if you look at this closely, this is a pretty decent looking inverted head and shoulders pattern that formed in here. So if we can pop that neckline, there could be some nice upside here in Peloton. So something to keep an eye on. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And and um, thank you to everyone who does take the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments. I truly appreciate it. I'll try to be answering those later today. Um, hey, I want to remind everyone here at the end of the video today, I've been kind of negligent about keeping up on reminding you guys, we are going to be giving away a Falcon trading computer today in the um, in our e-learning tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website, you can sign up for a chance to win that computer. We're also going to be giving away some Amazon 
gift cards. So you might want to stop on over and tonight we will be doing that giveaway. So please make sure you get registered today for that computer giveaway. By the way, Falcon Computer is what I use. It's what my partner uses. They are a phenomenal machine and it's a $3,000 computer. So you might want to take a look at that. Come on over to the HRC website. Make sure you get registered. Y'all take care. Have an awesome, awesome day and we'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.